Good afternoon uh, from a blustery day in Brundle. So hopefully you all can hear me nice and clearly. We're going to take a look around the Velai Mirage called Maggie Bay. So the um, original Mirage was designed by John Bennett. This particular example is one of the last ones out of the factory, uh, built in 1987 and she has been powered by a BMW diesel engine on a stern drive. Um, let's get out the wind and take a look inside. Right, so we're out the wind now. Um, I did take a couple of uh, shots of the exterior. Uh, you see that you've got some decent side decks and foredeck, uh, easy to get in round, and we've got the uh, guardrails as well. So it feels like quite a safe boat to sort of clamber around when you're uh, cruising along the broads. There was also quite a large bathing platform, so you can get access through the sides of the canopy. You can see, but a little step just there as well. Um, so you've got that both to uh, port, uh, to starboard and port, and you can also get. Uh, access through the stern. On to the cockpit. Nice space. All this upholstery has been replaced in 2022. I'd go as far to say this is possibly the nicest cockpit on a Mirage I've seen in a very long time. This bench seat here on the starboard side, that's uh, not standard, so someone has added that. Um, it does dramatically increase the amount of seating available. The floor's also been finished in this very nice sort of spongy teak effect floor. Finishes it very well. And we have got engine access uh, below here. Here is the engine bay. Very tidy down here. Got a box just here with batteries, a little battery charger, big chlorophyll with immersion, and then this nice big BMW lump in front of us. Five cylinder engine. And very very clean and tidy for its age okay so that was the engine that was last serviced april 2023 stern drive was serviced in 2020 not sure of the exact month um she was anti-fouled at the same time as well one of the features that i really like on the mirage is this hatch in the hard top um often they're like a vinyl uh, opening hatch. This one is uh, sort of clear perspex, so it's fixed, but I have to say it really makes the boat incredibly light and bright. Nice clear dashboard. No engine hours to, uh, no engine hour meter, so I can't give you those, but we have got a rudder indicator, depth log, two of those in fact, and a, a Neptune VHF. Right, so we'll take a look into the cabin next. So this is your main saloon and galley. Again, a bit like the cockpit, very different to your standard Fairlight Mirage. Um, all the uh, sort of dated woodwork's been covered and we've got this light uh, effect it's all been applied what nice obviously the curtains the upholstery is all looks uh, recent and again I, I suspect this was fitted the same side uh, same time as the cockpit upholstery in 2022 quite a clever layout on the mirage we have the forward v-berth now this one has got the infill in place. You see you've got a bit of storage. Uh, with hang a look at storage just here. We have got some of the original wood here as well. So it's actually been very nicely varnished. So you've got a B-berth here. You can pop this out. So if you've got a couple of kids and you don't want them uh, lying next to each other uh, uh, with the V-berth, you can 
uh, remove this very easily and it would also then give you a bit more floor space in this cabin um, but then if we just swing back around we've got the dinette which will also drop down and uh, create a double berth and then if we look to our starboard side these look to be the infill cushions yep for the dinette but the uh, you've got a berth here And then a second bunk berth here. So you can sleep up to six people on this boat. So very, very well designed, very well thought out. Uh, so if you've got a family and you've got four kids or even three kids and they just need a bit more space, uh, certainly the Mirage will accommodate that. Okay, I think put back away again. So uh, headlinings all look pretty good to me. Um, to say all the upholstery is new, carpets all look new. Uh, if we go into the toilet and shower, we've got a manual flush Jabsco toilet, shower that comes out of the sink. Good space in here, six foot headroom. Um, there is a diverter valve just down there, so we've got holding tank and uh, the option of sea discharge. And opposite the toilet, we've got the galley. Okay, we've got a little twin hob and oven and grill neatly concealed behind these panels and then the fridge uh, with freezer compartment. She has got warm air heating, uh, it's got immersion heater, so it's got shore power, warm air heating, battery charger, um, we mentioned the VHF, um, obviously you've got the built-in TV on the wall, um, CD player, that sort of stuff. So she's got enough spec um, that you'd be very comfortable on board. And as I say, it's all been, all the upholstery inside and out has been replaced. And I do like what they've done with the, uh, with the lighter effect on the wood. It's certainly made the Mirage feel a whole lot, lot more uh, uh, more modern than the uh, the standard version. One final thing to show you is the cockpit table. Just set that up. Fills this cockpit space very nicely and just finishes it off well. Okay, so we've been taking a look around the fellow Mirage Maggie May. Uh, built in 1987, she's powered by a BMW diesel engine um good spec on her we've got heating obviously the diesel engine's a big plus we made a lot of these with petrols but so we've got uh, the diesel heating uh, we've got shore power battery charger immersion heater got a boat safety certificate until 2026 um she is lying with us at MYA brundle available to view seven days of the week give us a call or jump online and send us an email we'd love to show you around Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.